welcome to TechFlex YouTube channel. In previous episode, we tried to guess the password. In this episode, let's drop some database. Again, getting the unauthorized access is criminal offense. So this is just for the learning purposes. So let me show you here. Uh, I have some table. So product, user, some table. This is just one of the table we can see here. Let's try to drop this. And uh, apparently this application, the sample application that I have made is saying login fail because it was not able to match the username, but it surely have executed the second query. This is a query separated in MySQL uh, right now. So this means that the second part must be executed. If we refresh here and we can see here, some table has gone here if we refresh this part as well so it's gone from there as well let's say uh, this was a user's table we can see here this is a very important table somehow if somebody is not able to gain access or cannot guess the password so at least he can do is he can drop the, your username or he can already back up everything and then just drop your database and then ask you for the ransom uh, because the, the, they can ask you that could be a very critical table for you but you just saw how we dropped it let's try uh, another example here um, let's say if we can drop database and i have a database maybe client here yeah. clients yeah so this is a really important database uh, maybe it is able to drop it and if we look at here and refresh this thing and the clients is gone so can you imagine how dangerous this is how dangerous it is not to synthesize your queries your your application if you do not write your code properly you're gonna surely surely get hacked and you may, might lose data it's not just somebody's hacking and changing the information they can copy the data they can just drop it so we look at how we can drop the table how we can drop the database so please 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 always always make sure that uh, you properly check your application your code base if it is vulnerable to sql injection always make sure never ever have the table names which are guessable like the user or user so it's really easy to guess and then an attack can be launched based on that always make sure that your queries are not get printed uh, on the client side or in the browser so that people can understand what is this table structure is so never ever have uh, guessable table names like users or user simply or user table or something like always prefix something before all the tables so that nobody is able to guess them never ever have full permission for the user that you are using in your php or spring boot application or any application which is trying to connect to database always always use a user which has limited access so i really give the permission which is select so they can do the selection uh, insert they can insert the record update they can update the record and then delete delete a record so delete is different from the drop delete is for deleting the rows the data that you have inserted whereas drop is dropping the schema dropping the tables or anything so this is really really dangerous so i would expect that in the future whenever you create a new application the user that you will be using will have the least permission which is required by your application that's it let's take a short break and meet in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.